Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So with Isaiah Thomas officially being ruled out for four months after successfully having his hip surgery today, we now know he's going to become an unrestricted free agent. He will miss the remainder of this season. We kind of already knew that, but now it's actually happening. He will be a free agent now as well. No more games being played and now teams got to start getting interested and start figuring out. Who are going to go after this offseason, especially teams who are not going to make the playoffs, they're going to be drafted somewhere in the lottery. And now I've seen a uh, report on Bleacher Report, they were talking about ideal situations for Isaiah Thomas. I want to let you guys know how I feel about it. And of course, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this in the comment section below as well. So a team to me that immediately comes to mind is, of course, the Los Angeles Lakers. You're already there. The Lakers, they've already seen you. You got a chance to play in the system. Clearly, you like the system that Luke Walton has. Now, granted, we'll see the Lakers decide to keep Luke Walton after the season or go after David Fisdale. I still think the Lakers will keep Luke Walton. I think he'll still be there at the end of this year. And maybe the Lakers, if they strike out trying to get LeBron James or maybe even strike out on trying to get Paul George, of course the Lakers have a ton of money to offer Isaiah Thomas a one-year deal. But the only problem is he comes back to L.A., going to be coming off of the bench we'll see whether or not Isaiah Thomas will take that role I think he should especially if the Lakers are going to pay him a lot of money it will be a one-year prove it type of deal but another team that does make sense as well is the Orlando Magic now the reason why they make sense is of course they are not competing for a championship right now they have a very young roster have some talent on the roster but they are not ready right now to actually compete at the highest level but that also makes room for a player like Isaiah Thomas, he wants to shoot. He wants the whole scheme and system to kind of be revolving around him. You go to Orlando, you are clearly going to be the scorer on that team. Yes, you do have some other pieces around you. You do have Nikolai uh, Vucevic. You also have Terrence Ross. And of course, you have Aaron Gordon. But that is about it. So if you go down there, you could definitely be the guy. So I do think the Orlando Magic makes sense, in my opinion, if you do want that spotlight and you do want to go. Now, in the article, they talked about the Dallas Mavericks. Me, personally, I do not like this fit whatsoever. I don't think he should go to Dallas. I don't think it makes sense. And I don't think Dallas is going to be interested in a player like Isaiah Thomas. So I don't like that fit at all. You have J.J. Barea already there. I think um, he's going to be there as the backup still, of course. You, and you know Dennis Smith Jr. is going to be the man in Dallas. I don't see that being a fit, a realistic fit at all. Also in the article, they have the Charlotte Hornets. Now you have Kimball Walker, who's been balling out of his mind lately. And I like Kimball Walker a lot. Now the only way this, this could make sense is if the Hornets decide to rebuild and you trade away a player like Kimball Walker this offseason. Now, of course, you want to get rid of Nicholas Batum's contract, but in order to probably get rid of Batum's contract, you might have to attach Kimball Walker. If you do that, you have a hole and a void you have to fill at the point guard position. Isaiah Thomas can start to make sense there if that's the direction they decide to go, but we'll see whether or not the Charlotte Hornets do decide to move on from Kimball Walker. I think that will be a mistake, but we'll see what they end up doing. And then the last team they gave in this article was the Detroit Pistons. Of course, you can go down to Detroit I don't see it happening. I don't think they have enough money to really pay him if he wants to have that big time deal one year. But if he's in that, you know, couple $15 million range, you go down to Detroit, maybe you can make a name for yourself there. But just fit wise and the scheme that Detroit runs, I don't think Isaiah Thomas really fits in there either. So that's the article. I think the Lakers is the best fit for Isaiah Thomas. Um, I think the Orlando Magic can make sense as well if he wants his own team. Not going to be the most talented, but if he wants his own team and to be, be able to build a system around him, I think the Orlando Magic could also make the most sense. But you guys let me know in the comment section below which team is the ideal fit for Isaiah Thomas and where do you think he'll end up at this offseason. You guys let me know how you guys feel about this in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.